a key port in the eastern part of Sudan has now been blocked for almost two weeks. At the origin of the blockade are a people known as the Beja tribes from the eastern part of Sudan. Their claims are clear. They are demanding the cancellation of the peace agreement of 2020 signed between Khartoum and rebel groups from various regions. The agreement reportedly aggravated tribal rivalries when, according to one of the leaders of the protest movement, so-called Beja tribesmen agreed to a section of the agreement concerning the East when they did not represent that part of the country. The origin of the Beja people dates back to 4,000 years BC. Since that time, they've been present in this region. They are Semites the sons of Cush, the son of Canaan, the son of Noah, and their presence since ancient times in this region led to the work of relations with many countries. Tradition prevails among the Beja. The men wear daggers with curved blades at the waist, both for protection and for traditional dances, while the women live hidden from strangers. Made up of several tribes, the majority speak Badawit, a language derived from Meroitic, which is about 4,000 years old. The Bejawian language is the language spoken by most of the tribes, and there is another language spoken by two tribes called the Tigray language, which is used in the Eritrean coast and borders in a limited area, but most of the tribes speak Bejawi and the Tigray language, 80% of which is Arabic. To date, their hope for the cancellation of the 2020 agreement rests in the hands of Al Nazir Turk, the tribal leader of the protesters. With 90% of their population living in rural areas, the Beja numbers nearly 4.5 million, or 1 in 10 Sudanese in 2008.